Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be starting the URL shortener project that I'm gonna make a series on. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity or the perfect project for creating a series because it'll touch on a lot of different parts of Laravel. And the reason I'm building it is because one of my side projects is a URL shortener that never really took off. And so I'm gonna shut that one down and actually just build this for myself. I just need something really simple for my own links. Just before I get started, I wanna thank everyone for 560 subscribers, that is crazy. Um, in five months, that's for me, that's uh, really mind blowing. I didn't expect it, this many people to find value in my videos. So thank you for watching and I uh, appreciate you subscribing. That's great. Anyways, just like every other video, uh, I'm going to start first by just generating a new Laravel project. So that's Laravel new link shortener. I'd also like to mention that I've already created the uh, database for it. So link underscore shortener. And so we can CD this into this. Okay, now we can go ahead and install Laravel Breeze, which I'll be using for authentication. I've actually never used this for a video before, but I have tested it locally beforehand. Uh, and I quite like it. If you're not familiar, Laravel Breeze came out of this heated discussion surrounding Jetstream and whether it accomplishes what it sets out to do. And the Laravel team brought Breeze as a, like a, a replacement for the Laravel UI package. And it's really cool because it's like a simple starting point but it also includes Tailwind CSS, which is great. And so it's definitely my favorite way to start a Laravel application if I need authentication. And uh, to get it installed, we just need this composer command. And then that'll make this PHP artisan install command uh, available. So that install command publishes routes, uh, it publishes views, and I believe some controllers, but we will check that out once uh, I get the full installation done. Now it's saying we need to run npm install and npm run dev. I usually run watch, but in this case, I don't see myself uh, changing the JavaScript files in this tutorial, so I'll just run dev. Okay, looks like that's finished compiling, so we could actually just grab Livewire really quick. I'm gonna need Livewire for a couple things, so I'm gonna install that as well. And that should be pretty quick. Uh, one thing to note, we will also need to include these in the app.blade.php or uh, template page that you use. The Laravel convention is to actually use an app.blade.php file as the root template in your project. And in this case, typically that file is not included with Laravel projects, but because we're using Breeze, that's actually already there. So unlike my other tutorials, we won't need to create that file. Let's uh, just valley link first so we could see the, uh, the site. Okay, let's open this up in VS Code. And so the first thing I want to do is uh, just quickly edit the app.blade.php file and add those Livewire uh, scripts. So at the bottom of the head tag, or head section, we can add Livewire styles. And at the bottom of the body section, we can add Livewire scripts. And now we have Livewire installed, it should work. I just wanna quickly go over what the routing structure looks like. A typical Laravel application keeps its routes in web.php. And here at the bottom, we can see that it, there's a require auth.php line. And auth.php is in the same directory. That's one of the files that was published with the breeze install command. We have all our routes for authentication, which is really cool. And we could just remove them or comment them out if we don't need them. In my case, because this uh, URL shortener is just gonna be for me, I'll probably just either comment it out, remove it, maybe add like a middleware that checks. I'm not sure, but uh, this is, makes it really easy to, to control your routing. And at the bottom here, we can also see that we have a tailwind.config.js. So we have Tailwind, and this is where you add your custom styles or extend the, uh, the included Tailwind styles. We also have a webpack.mix.js, obviously, and that, that's just uh, where you control what gets compiled into your JavaScript and CSS. If we check into our package.json, we can also see that we have Tailwind version 2, which is great. So the application is actually set up. We can check that we also have our database set up correctly in the app in the environment file and we do link link underscore shortener which i have created here and so if i go back to the to the uh, i term and run php artisan migrate that should migrate our tables which come with laravel and we can see we have our users table our password resets migrations and failed jobs and we also can see in the browser if this works now so let's go ahead and copy this Go into Chrome, paste that in, and sure enough, we see our fresh Laravel uh, project with Livewire and Laravel Breeze installed. 
We know that Laravel Breeze is installed because we have our login and register routes here, or buttons. And you can see we're running uh, Laravel version 8.2 or 0.22 powered by PHP 8. So let's go ahead and register and see what the dashboard looks like. So when we log in, we can see that our uh, Breeze dashboard looks like this. It's very simple, it's just one page. And we just have our logout button here. So if we click logout, we can now log back in with the, the account we just created. And there it is. So our project is set up. I'll include a link to the source in the description below. And for part two, we're going to be going through the migrations we need to create and the factories and the seeder we need to create. Uh, in preparation for testing. And also, I think the third part will be test-driven development for Livewire specifically, which is going to be really interesting. So if you're interested in the rest of the series, I will see you in part two.